Hi there, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. Giving all glory and honor to our Father, Yeshua, and the Holy Spirit. Thanking the Holy Spirit always for revealing truths, especially in these, in the last of these last days. My brothers and sisters, I made one video, but I wanted to actually go over this, make another video, because I didn't really go in depth in what I really wanted to talk about. All right, and in this video, I wanted to talk about um, these world bankers. Not only them, but I'm, I'm wanting to talk about high-ranking people. Celebrities, their lives, and tell you, my brothers and sisters, do not desire to be like them. You have to understand what they have as far as the worldly things. They had to give up a lot to have that. I mean, when I say a lot, they had to pay a big price. And that big price was their souls. That's expensive. They had to give their souls over in order to get the things that they have. I'm speaking to my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. I'm not speaking to any unbelievers. But the thing is, the unbelievers, they mock you and say this isn't true. But the thing is, there will come a day when they will see that what we speak is true. There's no need to persuade unbelievers. I'm speaking to my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. For my brothers and sisters in Yeshua, you know already. God said, don't envy them. Don't envy them. Don't envy the things that they have. But let them have it. This is their happiness. This is their world. Christ said he is not of this world. This is their world. This world has been given over to Satan. So those who don't follow after God, nor do they acknowledge God's commandments, nor do they acknowledge God, period, saying that there is no God. This is their world. They are their own God. Heed that. This is their heaven. So let them enjoy it. You refuse to acknowledge God. Do what you want to do. Only speak to believers. Okay? So these world bankers, I mean, these people live good. Their money that flows in is good, but they're stressed at the same time. In order to get where they needed to go, there was a price paid, and that was for their souls. The thing is, you must understand, when you're not right with God, when God is not near you, if the Spirit does not live in you, Satan has full control over your life. You see, when they fall into depression, this depression is a lack of something. This depression is a lack of something, meaning something's wrong. And they find a way to correct that wrong. And they stay in that depression. Then Satan comes. Satan just puts the icing on the cake. This is what you get. They say, we're up bankers falling off of the building. We don't know if they're committing suicide. We don't know if this is murder. But either way, both are evil. Both are evil. But you have to understand, a child of God also goes through these things. But the thing is, you have Yeshua, you have the Messiah. That's why you must hold on to the words of God. When you fall into any type of depression, you need to go back to Scripture. You need to hold on to the words of God. God says, those who endure to the end, you shall be saved. This even goes through trials that you're going through right now in your life, depression. Those who wait on the Lord, you shall renew your strength. These are those that go through depression. These are those who go through all types of trials and tribulation in their life. Do you not remember what Christ said? He has overcome the world. He said, fear not. So you're going through your depression. You're going through your uh, tribulation. Christ said, don't, don't fear. 
Fear not. I have overcome the world. Okay? Christ said, I've been through that. And I've overcome. And I will give you the strength to overcome. Just wait on me. Wait on me. Don't try to kill yourself. Wait on me. And I'm going to help you. This is, I'm going to. I, I will. This is, I will do this. Call on me. But do you want my help? The Lord calls on everybody. This is the thing is the gospel is the opportunity for the whole world. But people reject God. God don't reject people. People reject God. So when you reject God, he says, Okay. He says, Okay. You push me away, okay. So the thing is when these celebrities who refuse God, they laugh at the things of God. So when you do this, Satan comes. Satan comes and he manipulates your mind. He messes up with your he messes up your mind. Then you hear them and say, "Oh, I hear voices." But they think they're crazy. You're not crazy. Scripture said these are demons. These are evil spirits, impure spirits. This is what they say: impure spirits. But they curse and they lie, and they call you all kind of filthy names. This is what they hear: multiple voices they hear in their heads. But then you get music, these type of songs that exalt. And they glorify voices that you hear in your head. You have to understand, this world knows more than we know. People behind the music industry, they know more than we know when they speak about voices. And they glorify it. They make it seem like it's something funny. And you sing about it. They know a lot of things. They know Yeshua. They know about Yeshua. So when you stray away from God, when you don't even accept Christ, Satan comes. God gives you over to Satan. You don't want him? He says, okay. He says, Satan, you can have him. So you get these world bankers. They're living a the life. Oh, they're living good. Their job, they're living good. These celebrities, they're living good. Houses in different parts of the world. Cars are galore. Eating at the fanciest restaurants. But we believe that some of us to deceive and say, oh, I want to be like that. No, don't, no, don't wish that. Do not wish that. They don't have God. This is their world. This is their heaven. Let them enjoy it. Christ said, whoa. Christ said, doom, doom upon you who are rich. For this is your happiness. Because the thing is, this is the only happiness that you will have. Because the thing is, the moment you die, that's when you will pay. You will pay for rejecting the Son of God. Living in your sins. It's not funny. I don't laugh at them when these things happen. It hurts. It's sad. But the thing is, they laugh at us. They say, oh, your imaginary friend. Oh, I believed that when I was a little child, but I no longer um, believe fairy tales. All I can say is, okay. There's no need to curse them. There's no need to be upset with them. This It's just a hardened heart. This is the first seed in the parable of the four seeds. For you, my brothers and sisters, if you know that, you know who they are. This is the first seed in the parable of the seed. Christ spoke about them. These are them. These are them. This is their world. They live in wealth. They enjoy their life. They reject Christ. They said there's no need for Christ. There's a need for God. There's no God. But then this is when Satan comes. Christ, the Lord says, Scripture says, Satan, uh, Satan prowls the world. Seeking, seeking whom he, seeking who he may devour. Seeking who he may devour. He will attempt to devour a believer of God. Nobody. Christ is with us. Satan runs away from Christ. We know who to call when trouble comes. But they said, "Oh, you're an imaginary friend." Well, my imaginary friend. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm not gonna get into that. I'm not gonna get into that. It's just a hardened heart, deceived by Satan. That's all it is. That's all it is, but they want these things. Don't be jealous of them. This is all that they have. For the thing is, the Lord says, they're here one day and they're gone the next. Why are you worried about them? They're here one day and they're gone the next. Let them enjoy it, for this is their heaven. Their heaven is limit. That's all they have. I feel sorry for them. When I watch them on TV, they look like they're happy. 
they're all dressed up with their hair fixed and the nicest clothes, taking all type of pictures and Grammy Awards and um, Oscars. You stand up before the podium. Oh, I want to thank God. You don't know God. Your God is the God of this world. You don't know God. Understand that. They say, oh, I'm blessed. You're not blessed. You don't know Christ. You're not a follower of Christ. You haven't denounced yourself, taken up your cross, or even fallen after Yeshua. You're not blessed. Satan blessed you with falseness. You will see that you lived in deception the moment that you die or the moment you see Christ coming in the clouds. I feel sorry for them. You want to look down. They, the thing is, the majority of them, they look down upon those who are inferior. They look down upon people like me, but you look down all you want. For Christ even said, those who uh, want to be great among you, they must be ser you know, they must be servants. Your servants, they must be slaves. Right now, I'm a slave. All right? Right now, I'm a servant. These who exalt themselves, they will be brought down to humble. Do you not understand that, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua? Why are you envy? I not envy them. I feel sorry for them, okay? But the thing is, the Lord says, those who humble themselves, they will be exalted. They will be exalted. This is a will. Christ don't lie. God doesn't lie. This is why Christ said it to his disciples. Many people don't believe these things, but Christ says, I tell you these things, and when they happen, I tell you these things so that you may believe me when they happen. And these will happen. And I'm seeing this for myself that what Christ said is indeed true. I said, this is crazy because the world does not want us to know that there is a God. The world tries so hard to blind us. But we know. But these rich people, they don't find any need for God. They don't find any need for Christ. But when you find when you don't find any need for these things, you're given over to Satan. This is why they fall into deep depression. When they fall into deep depression, they have no one to call upon. Satan devours them. This is a devouring. So you see, they kill themselves. They do all kind of foolish things. They're running outside and they're crazy. They're losing their mind saying, someone is after me. There's so many stories that I hear about these celebrities. Even people that I don't even know, but they live a bit like somewhat wealthy, but yet they don't believe in God. You hear that they lose their minds. They're in, they're in the psych ward. They say they hear voices. This is you being given over to Satan. This is you being given over to impure, foul spirits. Because you refuse Yeshua. You don't even call upon Yeshua. But heed this. For those who don't believe, if you find yourself going through this, you can still call on Yeshua and hold fast. Still call on Yeshua and hold fast and test him. You can test him. Call on him and wait. Don't do anything to yourself. Call on Yeshua, and he will come with an open heart. And I tell this to people. Always call on him. Do not do anything to yourself. Wait on him. Call on him. Demons can't stand Christ, but they can't beat him. Okay? They're scared of him. Demons and Satan, they cannot do anything to Yeshua by his name. At, when you call his name alone, they are terrified. <clears throat> and they run. They run. They run and they flee when you call on the name of Yeshua. You have to ask yourself, who is this Christ? That demons and Satan who uh, seek to devour and destroy us, that they are scared of Christ. <laughs> That's my love. Okay? They say, imaginary friend, you know what? I love my imaginary friend, if that's what you call them. That's what they say. They say, oh, uh, they, 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 uh, they worship imaginary friend. I love this imaginary friend. And you will see this imaginary friend coming in clouds. And you would say, you would be terrified. You would say, who is that? I said, that's my imaginary friend that you've been talking about from centuries. That's him. Heat that. The thing is, with these people, I don't know if I feel sorry for them. I'm upset that Satan deceived them. That's what I'm upset about. But the thing, the gospel has been preached. 
But the thing is, these people reject it. They hear about Christ, they mock him, they laugh at him. But the thing is, these are the same ones that's jumping off of buildings, killing themselves. That's crazy to me. You mock Christ. You mock God. So Satan devours you. Christ could have been your defender. Christ could have fought for you. He could have encouraged you to continue, that the world is not over. But no, you listen to Satan. Either you jumped off. Because the thing is, you're so used to, they were so used to living a certain lifestyle. I don't know what it is. Is is is, is the uh, economy going to collapse? Is, do they know something that we don't know? Okay. Do they know something that we don't know? Is that why they jumped off? Because they could not see themselves living a different life less than what they lived. They may have lived in uh, or owned different types of homes and boast to their friends and their family that they have this type of money in the bank account. They will drive these type of cars. Is the economy about to collapse to the point where they will lose all these things and they refuse to live like us? Their pride to the point they say, I'd rather die than to live like people like me. Well, with that, I don't feel sorry, okay? Satan deceives them. Satan talks, speaks into their ear. This is Satan, this deception of Satan. Or were they murdered? Either way, Satan is behind all of these things. I wanted to go over this video to speak about this. My brothers and sisters in Yeshua did not desire these people's things. They only have this temporarily. Let them have their temporary happiness. Christ says, woe unto you who are rich. For this is your happiness. Woe unto you who laugh now, for you will cry. He said, they are here one day and they're gone the next. Why are you worried about them? Let them live their life. They want to boast in themselves, let them boast. They want to sleep with all type of men and women. Let them do it. Buy all type of cars and want to boast in these cars and these houses and lands that they own. Let them do it. Let them do it. They want to boast in uh, how they travel around the world and put up pictures and selfies and all, this, all these things. Let them do it. Let them have it. This is their heaven. Let them enjoy their heaven, okay? Because they refuse God. They refuse Christ. Christ could have gave them eternal life, but they don't want it. This is like the rich boy. When, Christ, when the rich boy asks, how can I get into heaven? Christ said, sell all you have. That rich boy didn't want to do that. And he walked away. These are these people. They heard the gospel. They knew what the gospel, what the, what they needed to do in order to access the kingdom of heaven. No. They were like this rich boy. They walked away. I just wanted to go over that. This is what you hear. Articles, articles. That's all you hear. People, the world bankers jumping off buildings, jumping off buildings, jumping off buildings. Satan got you. That's what it, that's what happened. Satan got each and every one of you. And he's happy. He's happy. They're not blessed. You always hear, oh, blessed. You're not blessed. Do you not, do you not know what blessed is, okay? Do you not know what blessed is? John the Baptist is blessed, okay? Apostle Paul is blessed, all right? The 12 disciples is blessed. Those who truly follow Christ and have the Spirit of God living in them, though they are poor in this world, they are blessed, all right? If you're following after God, if you have denounced yourself, taken up your cross, fallen after God unto death, you are blessed. They don't know what blessed is. The things that you have on in this world does not count towards a blessing. This is the things of Satan. This is Satan. Satan gave you that. You refuse God, Satan gave you that. You're not blessed. You're still living in sin, you're not blessed. If you were to die today, unrepentant of sin, not receiving the Holy Spirit, you will see yourself in a place that you never thought you would be. You're not blessed. Stop lying to yourself and stop believing the lies of Satan. Take care, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua.